another 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yeah. So, Kate, do you so, have that web page open? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's good, because what I will do is I'll step you through um, easily and quickly uh, on how to use the page to actually make an intruder alarm today. So you will make an intruder alarm with just a few lines of code. And I'll, I will show you the code and even uh, copy the code for you to insert today because we have a limited time and you can see how that works. Okay, so um, can you share share that your page on this um, Google Meet? Can you see that? Yes, yep. I can. That's very okay. good. Now, Dr. Peng? Yes, Mr. yes. Mr. Gordon, our principal is around. Guys, Hello. Good morning to you. The line with Kate. Good morning, Kate, Mr. Gordon. Gordon. Hello. Well, lovely good meeting morning. you. Good morning. Nice to see lovely you. Meeting. This is Dr. Miro. Oh, Dr. Miro yeah. over, Dr. over there. Yeah, excellent. Yes, yeah, he's in Renta. Tencent, Australia. Excellent. Well, yeah. good to really meet good you. Really good to see you. Yeah. We, we are doing a quick 20-minute so uh, demo with Kate because she needs to go to another lesson of uh, an intruder alarm that she has opened my web page of the Wi-Fi chip here in Australia. And, in fact, the web page that she is presenting actually is inside my Wi-Fi chip here. And All right. uh, when she opens it. So it means that it, it can connect to this controller, such as the blue wire to the relay box, which can connect to my lamp. So that, that wire is connected, for example, to C4. So Kate, on your web page, can you go down to C4? So what we are, what we are showing is STEM and yes, Internet of Things and artificial intelligence um, all together in, in 20 minutes. Okay, so Kate, go down to C4, if you can see port C4, and select the uh, digital out, digital out on C4. Okay, and you see there's a red off button. This is actually to test the connection on the blue wire. So if you actually press press that red off button, you can check whether the connection is okay to the kit. So it's like, a, it's like a window inside the kit using Internet of Things. So you can click on that one. Yeah, so the light turns on, that means that there's a connection, okay, to the kit. Um, so um, you can see this technology is, is a direct Internet of Things. It makes it much easier for students. We can turn on other things, of course, fans, um, pumps, water pumps, etc. Um, so, Kate, in the name, uh, next to the green on button, can you type in the word lamp, L-A-M-P? This is part of the uh, code you, because we can then... Um, can you repeat that? Uh, I couldn't really hear. Lamp, L-A-M-P. Okay, very good. Um, and go down then to uh, C7. Go to C7. And we have here a sensor. So what it does is it measures and reads the light level. So go down to C7 and select the analog in. Because it's a voltage, it will convert analog to digital. Analog in, and you see there's a number, a digital number. Computers are made of digital computers made of numbers. Okay, if I cover the sensor, you will see the number goes down. Um, and if I uncover the sensor, then the number goes up. Okay, this can be a temperature sensor, could be a moisture sensor, could be many sensors, pH sensor, distance. Um, and we can take a simple reading over the internet and get the data. 
So type in the word sensor in next to the C7. Okay, very good. And um, I actually then you can use lamp and sensor, for example, measure the sensor and see if it goes under a certain level. That means that there's an intruder and we want to automatically turn on the lamp. Otherwise, if it's gone, we can turn off the lamp again. So um, I will paste you the code since we have limited time. Um, often the students just type it in and we'll make sure I have the upper lowercase is correct and just yeah. paste While it in that. Doing that oh, let me just uh, give uh, Mr. Gordon a quick uh, sum up of what the project is about. So what Kate is doing is now programming our computer chip in Australia. We're in Adelaide, South Australia, and she's actually programming an intruder alarm with a few lines of code on it. Right. Traditionally, uh, university students will need a few hundred lines of code to do this project. So, so, so Kate, just co copy, that, advantage. copy that into the JavaScript loop section. Sorry, Peng. And so what Kate is doing now is to make the intruder alarm to activate a drone. Right. A security drone to take a video of the intruder. Once the intruder alarm is activated, it will send a drone to take a video and, and send it to the police with an artificial intelligence voice message that says, if you can type in a warning text, uh, 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 text a warning, say police on the way, your video is sent to the police plus your GPS location, go away or go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> So, so that's that's the excitement of uh, international uh, internet internet of things to ignite some interest, Mr. Gordon. So Kate, go Excellent. to the, to oh, the that's top. Brilliant. Mm. Yeah, go it, to the top the first and press, in the world. press the run run code. So it's a very disruptive technology. Okay. And as soon changing... as soon as you did that, the lamp turned off. So if I if I cover the sensor now, you can see that the code actually reads whether it's less than uh, 120. Um, let me just check. Blocking the light. Okay. So the big. All right. So um, there's actually. Just to show you uh, how easy it is, there's actually a slight error because you need to have the same upper lowercase to turn on the lamp. So can you see in the JavaScript loop, the word lamp there is not actually got the uppercase L on the turn on? I think that one has. No, both are lowercase. Yeah, okay. this is uppercase, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's good. that's good. So now, now go up and press the stop code and run code again, so that we can do that. So you could know if there's hundreds of lines of code, it's very hard to see what the problem is. So if I now cover cover the sensor, okay, you can see that the lamp actually turns on and it goes green on your web page, and the numbers go down. If I uncover it then it turns off and it goes up again. So you can see this line of code very easy to understand. We're not sort of getting any libraries or blocks or anything. You can actually see how it works. JavaScript is a native language of the internet and 70% of the professional programmers actually use JavaScript. So it is a very important skill. And by the way, this technology also works locally. It doesn't, don't even need the internet because the web page is in the chip. You can just open it um, locally on the table too. Okay, um, this uh, run link can also create a web page and it only takes two lines of code to create an on off button. Each button in fact is only one line of code. So um, normally I do step through that, but because of the limited time, maybe Kate, just go to the stop code 
go to the stop code and then just press the uh, get yep. button which is uh, under the send just press the get button and this will actually get the code from inside the chip so internet of things again and this is the code for uh, this drone i actually have a wi-fi drone here the run link can connect not not anything on the network so it's a wi-fi network and this is a wi-fi drone so i will turn on the drone and also on this wi-fi drone we have a, a camera we have some height sensors some infrared sensors we have a temperature sensor in there and um, we uh, also have a battery sensor we have uh, many sensors in there so uh, kate have you turned up the sound on your laptop because also we're going to show the text to voice so i'm just connecting the drone into the my wi-fi so i've turned it on it uh, turns itself off to save batteries so i've turned it on and i'm connecting it to my wi-fi and then Just checking that connection. So the drone is uh, down there. Okay, that's looking good. So Kate, go and press the run code. It's time to run the code for the drone drawing web page and then scroll down and you'll see in the javascript loop there's still a sensor in there and there's a, still a sensor connected so if i cover my hand the uh, sensor number goes down but uh, this time we have buttons and only one one line of code for each button so click on the start commands button the start commands button on the web page so students can make their own web page with RunLink. So just scroll down a bit further so that we can see that web page and also the uh, even the camera view. Okay, that's it, that's it. So um, there's a camera view there, there's a graph. So press the start commands, just uh, leave it there. That's a good position for the page. Okay, did you hear a voice, Kate? Yes. Okay, um, maybe because your microphone were, is muted, we can't hear it. So maybe if you unmute your microphone, just press it again so we can hear the AI voice. Okay. Um... Drone command. Okay, yeah, very good. Okay, so um, it only takes like... Um, two lines of code to actually convert the text to an AI voice using the run link. Students can type in their own things. Go up to the top right and press the battery percentage so we can also get the sensor from the drone. Drone get well. battery. And it says 92%, which is excellent. And then uh, click on the temp degree C to see if we can measure the temperature as well. Drone get temp. Okay, so the, the, this, uh, this is an AI drone and those voice commands are actually the commands sent directly to the drone to respond. Okay, so 71 degrees because it has so many uh, chips in there, that's the chip temperature. All right, so um, what you're going to do now, Kate, is you're going to fly a drone in Australia from, uh, from Thailand. Okay, so um, just... Uh, listen carefully and just click once on the button when I ask you uh, because I can see where the drone is flying and it's a little bit hard with your vision over there. So press the takeoff button. Drone takeoff. Okay, very good. You can press the up button. Press the up button once. Drone up 20. Okay. And you can see that it's actually gone up on the graph. 
Okay. Press that. Uh, okay. So now um, press the uh, turn CW. Turn CW. We can ask the drone to turn clockwise. Okay. And okay. Uh, and then um, you can do a flip flip right. Let's ask the drone to actually do a flip as well. Flip right. Drone flip hard. Okay, very good. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it to flip back. Flip left. Drone flip out. Okay, very good. Mm, excellent. Okay. All right. Um, just get. Get the drone to uh, just go up a little bit more. You can see that there is a, the height graph does want to form. Okay, so it is up now a lot higher. <clears throat> the graph goes up. Okay, very good. Okay, so you can get the drone now to land. So press the land button. Drone land. Okay, so um, wow, successful flight, uh, Kate. Very good, very good, Kate. Well, you did better than well NASA done, on Mars, I think. Um, well done, Kate. Excellent, yeah. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, yeah. we haven't quite finished though, because remember that yeah. this is uh, Dr. Peng, also. Did you take the video so that uh, we can include this during my speakership? Yes, yes, I Thank think it's so recorded. Much. I am and recording Kate, this. There. Yeah. Yeah. So Kate will be speaking also, hopefully, at the C STEM conference organized by Dr. Sompon in Prince of Songkla University in Patani. Wow. Good. In November, okay. November 24th, 25th. Okay. So ju and just the last. Rose Mary will be speaking with her. Last <laughs> part of the demo. Oh. Kate should leave now because another class, not science yeah. class. Now. Just, just another 30 seconds because the okay. mirror is going to show the intruder coming and then the drone will take off to take a video of him and send to the police. Okay, so um, the sensor is still set so that if an intruder comes, the lamp turns on, but it will send a drone. So the sensor is coming, blocks the, the lamp. Brilliant. Okay. Okay, there was a voice. I think that uh, Kate is muted. Yeah. Yeah. Drone CCW 360. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually going around getting a video of the intruder and uh, sending it to the police. So Kate, um, you can tell us which voice you heard just now, what it was doing. I'm scared, so I'm going to go. Intruder has gone. All safe. Drone land. Okay, so students can create their own sequence in there as well of what the drone does and the voice. What did you hear when the intruder came, Kate? Um, it said intruder alert. Okay. Well done, Very Kate. Good. Very well done. And, Excellent. And we'll be doing that at the CSTEM conference in November too. So you could be controlling the drone too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you could be controlling the drone in America. We have 10 drones there in the Temple University, Mr. Gordon. Excellent. In Philadelphia. Brilliant. So they, there is a, a few uh, professors there using this system. And they told us what Kate is doing. They have never seen that before. They don't have this technology in USA. Wow, well done. You well done to everyone. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for uh, sharing. No, thank you for inviting me. Brilliant. Keep it up. Great. We'll, we'll yeah. communicate. We'll speak again. We'll we, we, okay. would like, we'll we would like to share this directly to the classes. Are we able to actually... Uh, Is that on Friday? ...into the Google Meet to, show, to actually do the demonstration? Um, I can actually enter my class and then present my screen if... Do you see it? Yeah. I cannot yeah. let them go in in our Google Classroom, so I use my personal email, uh, Gmail, because okay, okay, okay. That's why maybe they want to talk to you. How could they do it? Assembly. I'm not sure. 
yeah. during your class, during your class, this this. So in terms of the kids, you know, this is how to cover. Well, I can't do it this way. Uh, this way. So what do you think, Kate? You also do it again, there, because there's a basic. This is three basic regarding about the drone. And in year seven, I have my class with nine A. Yeah. And nine A wants to join also and see. This is to encourage them. Yeah, to do I physics. think it's a great idea. Do physics. It's a great idea. And this is one way to combat addiction in digital in social media. Okay. Yes. Instead of playing and yeah, yeah, yeah. do this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is how to make your home smart home. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So this has a lot of United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals, Mr. Gordon. Like Kate can make her house into a smart home now. So inside the smart home, we will provide quality education, United Nations SDG number four, to create gender equality by providing quality education of a few lines of code, not a few hundred lines of code. Because a very important message for Mr. Gordon is this. Can you imagine university students using the older technology going to get a job soon, right? Yeah. And uh, they, they only have one party benefit, meaning the intruder alarm for the home user. But using this technology, the children of the customer will be able to learn what Kate is doing. So two party users. I know and that is critical because the university students will be making products that uh, uh, cannot uh, be sold. Excuse me, hold on. Yep. Let, yep. let me do that. That that will be my piece. Mr. Gordon will attend on October 30. So okay. Okay. Yeah. Make, make him yeah, to know that. I will yeah. be the one to talk about that. Yeah. So <laughs> so we have learned a lot from Dr. Rosemary. She got a Kate lot of experience in because STEM. next class now. Sorry guys, no. on Friday, okay. period seven yeah. and eight, I will text you again so that Kate and the whole class will join us. Definitely. Definitely. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so okay. much. We look forward that to that. My time. It is thank you, Dr. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. That's my science. Thank class. you. Nice to meet you, uh, Mr. Thank Gordon. You. Nice yes. to meet yeah. you too, nice guys. Time. So uh, Dr. Rosemary has been very instrumental in sharing a lot of these ideas. She's our star. She's our star. She's the, she's the star. Please yeah. don't the talk. Star of... I will be the one to talk to that during. Rosemary, you talk too much. Go away. Go away. Okay. Lovely meeting you, everyone. I've got to go. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be there on the 30th of October. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. Bye. Absolutely. Okay. So nice yeah. to meet you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Uh, thank Bye -bye. you, Dr. Miro and Dr. Feng. Yeah, welcome. Thank you.